Hey friends, welcome back to Many Travels and Hikes, and so does Bully. <laughs> uh, we're in the spirit of things here. It's that time of year. You might be looking for some fun winter activities, things to do with the family or with the friends. I'm gonna get you, Mike. <laughs> I happen to live in South Florida. Uh, this is just for show, it's pretty warm out here. But um, I love going to colder areas to be able to do some of this fun stuff, fun in the snow. One of my favorite states, Colorado, specifically going to Breckenridge, this cute little town in Colorado. You go there for skiing, snowmobile, dog sledding. Sorry, buddy. Um, ice castles, hiking, excellent dining, all kinds of fun stuff to do. And I just wanted to tell you real quick about some of these fun activities and let you see some fun footage from some of my recent trips. By the way, I'd love to give a shout out to my friends over at Dow Winery. Oh my God, this place, I'm gonna do a whole video on it because their tasting room on the top of Dow Mountain is just unbelievable. They hooked me up with some swag, you'll be seeing some more. Today we're drinking one of their very classy, elegant wines, Micho. This is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Oh, so good. Okay, back to the snow activities. So you go to a place like Breckenridge, you absolutely want to ski, okay? So not all my friends were into it, but a few of us did, and we just had such a good time. I've only gone skiing about four or five times in my life, so I'm not a pro yet. But on this recent trip, I did a few of the blues, which are like intermediate to advanced, and uh, uh, it was tough, but so much fun. Oh, the views up here, my goodness. Up in Breckenridge. And Manny got us on a blue run. We're about to start a blue. I think we're in trouble. Which, it shouldn't be too bad, but we'll see. I really had to twist my friend's arm to, to get her to, to join me, to upgrade from green to blue. Uh, she was not too happy with me after several falls. Wish you guys could have seen it. Shauna was screaming. And I turn around, she's going real fast down this hill. <laughs> and I was like, she's gonna fall, she's gonna fall. She fell. And I fell down, trying to stop, not running into that tree. But it was just so awesome, so beautiful up there. And I highly recommend going to Breckenridge for skiing. If you want to spend a little bit less, because it is pricey to pay for the lift tickets and the equipment rentals, but there's another place, there's Copper Mountain, that's probably like 20 to 30 minutes away from Breckenridge. And uh, it's much more affordable. I've done some skiing there as well and had a great time. So that I can definitely recommend to you. We're skiing, baby, in Colorado on Copper Mountain where all the avalanches happen. Yeah! <laughs> Nearby, there's also Vail. That's about an hour away from Breckenridge. It's a little bit more ritzy, very nice place, but they have some fantastic skiing there. So that's something else nearby that you can check out. The Breckenridge mountain range is actually part of the Rockies. Uh, the Rockies go all through Colorado and through several other states, I believe. But it is just so beautiful out there. Some of the 14,000 feet peaks are out there, and uh, I think those are the highest in Colorado. It's really a sight to see when you're standing before these majestic mountains. Unbelievable. All these trips have been with my, my wife and my friends, and uh, we did some dog sledding. We've tried two different places, but one of them is our favorite. So our favorite place for the dog sledding is Good Time Adventures. This place has authentic Siberian Huskies. These dogs are beautiful and they're just so fun and playful and lovable and they actually want you to play with the dogs because the dogs love it. Oh, but, uh, I think Babu's got a boyfriend. Hey, she's my girl. So after they, like... But it's just so much fun. Uh, the first time we went, it happened to be snowing it was literally like being in a winter wonderland. It was just so beautiful. Like the footage is pretty nice, but it doesn't do it justice. You had to be there. There's somebody on a snowmobile up ahead kind of leading the way. They let each person take turns doing the mushing, which is kind of just telling the dogs what to do. And um, we take a lot of little breaks, play with the dogs. The dogs, you see them just playing in the snow and it's super cute. We got a chance to see how the dogs live there and it was actually really nice to see that they have beautiful lives, you know, and their, their lives have a purpose. It was just such an awesome experience. 
They also do provide you with some extra overalls and other gear to keep you warm because it really gets cold out there. And as you're sledding, you know, the cold wind and snow in your face, uh, it really uh, does a number on you. So you, you want to be protected, have the right gear, and they provide it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> we tried out another place in a nearby town called Leadville. Oh, you're so silly. You puppy? You puppy? It was beautiful. The scenery was beautiful, but not quite the same. Uh, it was just a little different. We really enjoyed Good Times Better. Plus, the paths they have go through like the hills and the forest, and it was just magical. It really was. What the F are we doing? Woohoo! Breckenridge, baby! Uh -oh. oh no! Uh -oh. We missed it! We uh -oh. missed it! Oh, I was recording. Wait, doggies. Wait, doggies. Wait, doggies. Wait, doggies. Wait, doggies. Wait, doggies. I actually was recording, I just wasn't paying attention. We might have gotten it in the bathroom. I might have been. Snowmobiling. Okay, so you can actually do snowmobiling at Good Time Adventures as well. So we had a chance to try it out there and it was great going through the paths like I was saying. So much fun. We're all in a row just kind of following. They take us through some amazing paths. We take some breaks to take photos and just uh, take in the view. One part we actually stopped and uh, the guide was telling us, you see this, this valley over here? This is where the cartoon South Park was based off of. So that was kind of cool, neat little information. Interesting fact, he was telling us how the, the two creators of South Park, all, a lot of the characters in the show are based on actual teachers that they used to have. And he said, yeah, the teachers out here, they were not too happy about that. I'm with my buddies up in the mountains. I love it. Oh, snow angel, snow angel in the house. <laughs> Excuse me, I just can't get enough of this meat show from Dow. It's so good. So yeah, we had an awesome time on the snowmobiles. We also a couple years back tried it in Vail. There's a there's another company in Vail that had it goes through the mountains and that was actually quite awesome too. I can't remember the name, but if you're in Vail, you definitely should look up some snowmobile activities because it was the bomb. And it was kind of cool because they had this yurt. A yurt is like a fancy tent, basically, <laughs> that halfway through the ride, we stopped there and have some hot cocoa and some treats. It was a nice little, nice little addition to the trip. You must do some snowmobiling. <laughs> awesome. And another nearby little town called Dillon, they have this really cool thing. It's called the Ice Castles. And it's basically a big castle made of ice. You go in and um, you could spend like an hour there and they have little slides. They have all kind of cool areas where you can take photos and videos and um, just a really cool experience. Actually, one of the times that we went, there was people playing with fire in the middle of this place. And yeah, just such a cool experience. Dylan, it's not that far. It's probably about a half hour from Breckenridge. So something you could check out. <laughs> Breckenridge Brewery, if you're into craft beer like me, you got to check it out. They have some fantastic IPAs and all kinds of goodies there. If you're also into whiskey like yours truly, there's the Breckenridge Distillery. I had a chance to go there and do a tasting. They have the flights and they explain each one and I'm definitely a fan of their bourbons, all their whiskeys, really good stuff. And beyond all the fun stuff to do in the snow, there's the little town of Breckenridge, there's Main Street, there's all kinds of cool little shops and restaurants there. The altitude up here <laughs> can be a bit much for some. Oh, my sweetheart. That's honestly, when I go out with my wife and my friends, that's one of the things we enjoy most, especially going to travel somewhere, is checking out the fine dining. There's always some cool mom and pop shop kind of places to check out. Food was fantastic. Of course, we, we enjoy drinking at all these places and just uh, having convivial moments with our friends. Cheers! Woo! Cheers! Woo! We're Breckenridge. <laughs> uh, there's another cute town not that far away. It's called Frisco. We happen to go check it out and uh, just to dine there one day. There happened to be a dog parade going down the street. They closed off the street and people were just marching with their dogs. They were in all kinds of weird costumes. It was really fun and uh, just something different. Yeah, it was so unexpected. So the randomest thing. 
just came out of a restaurant in Frisco, Colorado, and there's this dog parade. Babu is in heaven. <laughs> How do you feel, Mama? I feel great. I'm in doggy heaven. Literally. There's dogs everywhere. Dog parade. It's pretty cool. The views, man. Unbelievable. Anyway, I feel like I could go on and on and, and like I'm probably forgetting a bunch of good stuff to tell you. Oh, it's too heavy. Here we oh, go. But anyway, those are some of the fun activities you could do in the snow, in the winter time. And I mean, it's that time guys. So get your flights to Colorado. And uh, Breckenridge is actually only like a two hour drive from Denver. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoy some of this footage. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Me and Bully could use the help. <laughs> if you see Dow at the store, you gotta pick yourself a bottle up. Check out their website. They've got great swag. You could join their wine club. They have some really cool features on their app and everything, so definitely check out Dow. And guys, hope you liked this video and hope to see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers, bully. <laughs> <laughs>